Jean Bullard. Eugene Bullard was an African-American aviator, musician, and soldier who lived during the early 20th century. Um, he was born in, 19, in 1895 in Columbus, Georgia, um, and faced racial discrimination and, uh, and violence in the United States. Um, he was born of farmer slaves, which is a reason why he fought against racism and, and oppression his entire life. Um, later on, he decided to move away from the U.S. and chose to settle in France in 1913 to look for more freedom, um, especially because of oppression and inequalities. He then became the first African-American um, combat pilot serving in the Lafayette Flying Corps during World War I. So his historical background is characterized by his bravery, resilience, and determination uh, against racial adversity. So Boyd's life and work are meaningful for several reasons. As the first African-American combat pilot, he broke barriers and set an example um, for future generation, generations of black aviators and soldiers. His courage and skills in combat um, earned him respect and, recognitions, and recognition, which challenged racist um, stereotypes about African-American at, at this time. Um, Boyd's many talents as a musician, um, nightclub owner, but also spy during World War II, uh, which highlights his intellectual capacities and adaptability uh, in being able to make his way to different social roles uh, and responsibilities. Um, so, during his time in France, uh, uh, it was marked by many experiences that changed uh, history, but also shaped his personal approach uh, to life by coming to France, he uh, he found acceptance and opportunities that would that he would have never found in the U.S. He immersed himself in the culture, learned the language, he became fluent in French, and then he received uh, military military training, which helped him become uh, more disciplined and more resilient. Um, despite facing racial judgments. He, his experiences um, expanded his perspective um, and increased his awareness of social justice issues. While in France, he sacrificed the comfort of his home country and knew he would have to suffer from being a minority in, foreign, in, in a foreign country like France uh, because he was convinced he would gain a sense of, of belonging, a purpose, strong work ethic, um, creativity and adaptability which would serve him well through his entire life um, so during his life he made a lot of meaningful contributions um, he was so like I said he was a fighter pilot during World War I uh, um, he bravely fought for France and the French uh, in the Lafayette Flying Corps like I said but also in the foreign uh, French foreign legend um, he became the first African-American military pilot. Uh, his involvement in combat missions showed both his bravery and skill in aerial combat, earning him several decorations. Um, beyond his military service, Bullard served as a cultural ambassador also. He embraced French culture and language, but also served as a connection between American and French communities. He continued to fight for civil rights and racial equality, uh, using his own experiences to raise awareness uh, about the injustices faced by African Americans. So his achievements are not on, do not only symbolize resilience and determination, but also serve as a symbol of hope and inspiration for excluded communities worldwide. So to conclude, um, those African American individuals significantly impacted French society and, and culture th through their activities in France. Um, they, through artistic performances such as jazz or dances by, by artists that we've talked about in the, pre in, uh, the, entire, the entire month of this class, like, like Josephine Baker that we talked a, a lot about and also or, or Cindy Beche. Um, they all brought new perspectives and styles that enriched French cultural life. Um, their resilience and conviction against stereotypes and oppression was shown through their performances and activism. So uh, Bullard's achievements 
as a combat pilot and his contributions to French culture show the world how capable uh, black people are and how they can overcome any challenges. The, this changed how people think about race and identity um, in Western countries especially. His story still encourages people today to follow their goals and stand up against unfair treatment, teaching us about bravery and determination when things get tough. In my opinion, uh, I'm French and I came here to, to the US, so it's the opposite. Um, I really see the, 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 the relation in between France and New Orleans and Louisiana. And, um, and even in France, in France, we can see a lot of, of different, um, different things that we see that came from the US and now are settled in France and uh, are, are the, the culture, both uh, the culture, the French culture embraced some of the American culture. And when I'm in the US, I see that Louisiana and especially New Orleans embraced a lot of the French culture. Thank you very much for uh, for listening and uh, uh, have a good day.